Oh my gosh. Look how many there are. everyone in Panel 11's hearts and a week ago I watched the Avatar sequel Avatar The Way of Water. The very first movie I actually watched in cinemas was Avatar back in 2009. And let me just tell you I was obsessed. <laughs> I knew how to speak their language. I tried to learn their culture. I just wish I was a Navi, okay? And I also remember having a diary dedicated to everything I learned about the Avatar universe. So today I'll be making my childhood dreams come true and become a Navi in the world of Pandora. Before that, we do need to make Pandora first, so let's get building. So I just typed in Pandora avatar in the search bar on um, Google, and this is what came up. Okay, so I think this is the best representation there is of Pandora. There's like water over here, the rainforest, the floating mountains, or whatever you call them. And yeah, I think we're gonna recreate something like this, and I want it to be nighttime as well. So that way it looks really cool. Okay, so I don't know if I want to make it too big. I want to make it kind of narrow so that, so that way we can make it kind of really tall. I always go in without a plan when it comes to building. Um, but I do think that it is a good thing because so that way you guys kind of know my thought process when making something without a plan. <laughs> so right now I'm making like a donut, a really irregular shaped donut, okay? I'm curious, have you guys watched Avatar The Way of Water? Is that the type of movie that you guys would watch or is it not your type of movie? <laughs> so this is the shape that I came up with. Now we're just gonna build up. Okay, so this is our... <laughs> our little donut, okay? It's not even little. I've made about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 levels of donuts. I want to make some floating islands or floating mountains, whatever you call them, over here. Okay, let me just see what I can make with walls. If it looks too ugly, I'm not going to go ahead with it. And to top it off, we're going to put a mansard roof. I kind of hate the shape of this though. Why does it look like that? Why can't it be gradual? I guess when you're looking at it from like at the bottom like this, it doesn't look too bad. I think we're just gonna go with this. I don't want to bother with basic shapes. They cost a lot. Okay, that's pretty good, actually. It looks kind of majestic. Let's do it. Ah, okay, so it looks like this, and I'm pretty sure it's supposed to look greener than this. <laughs> so I think right now we're just gonna add a really big pool. I hope this isn't too much. Okay, we are getting there. Slowly but surely. I want to put trees everywhere, okay? And the trees that we're gonna use is going to be the expensive ones. These ones. Organic tree. But they're gonna be really big trees. Like, really big. Oh, that's the furthest it can go. It's kind of disappointing. <laughs> okay, this is what it's looking like right now. And it's still not green enough. So, we're going to add some vines. This is gonna leave me broke. Oh, 600 for just one? Are you kidding me? Okay, at least it's looking a little bit better. Not even a little bit. It's looking a lot better. Now we're gonna add the waterfalls. And no, I'm not gonna spend actual Robux um, getting blocks, bucks, waterfalls, okay? I'm gonna use pillars and we're gonna make it out of pillars. This is really draining my money. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Some edges need to be fixed, so we're gonna use um, a dirt pile for that. I hope it looks like water. If it doesn't, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> but to make it look like water, really, to make it look like a waterfall, we actually need to go to electronics and put up a fog machine. And we need a lot of these because this is gonna make it look really realistic um, and also hide its faults with Pandora, they have a lot of these um, bright neon colors, well, neon light colors, like bioluminescence, whatever, on their animals and stuff. And I feel like it's okay to add this in our water as well to make it actually look like an alien planet. I don't want it to just look like Earth, even though they do have similarities. For our floating mountains, we're going to be covering these with vines. What I want to do now is to connect these floating islands, but using a garland. Like this. <laughs> I don't exactly know if that looks good. 
Okay, it's looking a little bit too dense. Oh, uh, where am I? Okay, so it's looking a little bit too dense, but I feel like that's the charm of it. Once you're kind of in there, it looks really dense. It should look dense. Ah, I don't know what to do. How to make this more majestic. To be honest, I think that we will definitely rely more on the lighting. There's also these uh, jellyfish looking mabobs and I'm gonna be making those quickly. But they were kind of purple in color and at the bottom, kind of bright pink. To make it look jellyfish-like, I am going to be putting down a basic shape, resizing it just so we can guide the tentacles or whatever you call them. And then we'll be deleting it. Hopefully it won't delete our progress though. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I really like it. I promise it's gonna look better though. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add this everywhere. To kind of just balance it out, I'm gonna add the compact bush but with like the grass color. So that way it's not too in your face. <laughs> I totally forgot that we have like an upper part that we haven't really touched. As you can see, we can't really put vines on the roofs that we put down. I'm just hoping no one will notice because I don't really want to make a solution for that. It is going to be nighttime when we reveal it. So does it really matter? <laughs> okay, now I think it's time to light up Pandora. These lamps are a little bit more focused and I feel like the light is kind of really bright. Then color it the same as the actual waterfall itself. There we go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm getting excited. Next, we're going to be lighting up these jellyfish mabobs. Okay, so we lit up the jellyfish mabobs. Okay, so I found out a way how to light up the lake area. Um, okay, we're just, <laughs> we're just going to do this throughout. I don't really think there's a way around it. I was thinking maybe we should light up our <laughs> floating islands because I don't think they're gonna be seen otherwise. I decided that a little bit of variety in terms of the trees won't hurt as well. So we're just gonna make some of them dark green. I'm gonna set our time to 7 p.m. And it looks like this. I feel like it's the prettiest, you know? Anyways, let's go inside, see what it looks like. <gasps> it's so pretty! Oh my gosh. I sure hope it does look like Pandora though. I did try my best, but I am pretty limited when it comes to Bloxburg. Uh, we have our floating islands. Don't know if they're very noticeable, but hopefully people will notice them. This is our waterfall. I feel like it's like the best part of this whole build because it's so luminescent. I like our jellyfishies as well. And yeah, this overall build is really exciting to make. And I think you have all been waiting for the best part of this video. Actually, I don't know if it's gonna be the best part. Maybe it's not. I will be transforming myself into a Navi. This is kind of cringe, but let's put down a wardrobe. So here it is. <laughs> I'm gonna color myself blue. There we go. <laughs> I have a tail, a cool cat tail. I have a long wavy pony hair extension because of, you know, the the hair tail thingies, you know? And I have this patterned skin thing. It's Natiri's one. I can't really add that to my face. <laughs> so we'll just wear this. So here I am. <laughs> <laughs> at my habitat and um yeah uh yeah this is my place welcome to my crib so now i'll be getting 75 people to come and join me wear this blue skin right here and become a navi with me okay this is our pandora this is our planet and yeah let's do it <laughs> Okay, before I invite everyone, I am going to be putting a wall over here so that way no one can kind of go in. I would like everyone to just wear the outfit first, okay? This won't work out if they're not wearing the outfit, okay? They must wear the outfit. They can, of course, just look at the inside just like this, but actually, you know what? Let's keep it a secret, okay? Let's keep it a secret. We're going to... <laughs> put a floor like this okay this is a secret guys you're not gonna find out what it looks like yet i told them to head to my plot and pizza side they're all coming in now oh my gosh we have one right here oh my gosh look how many there are 
This <laughs> looks so funny. We are now opening Pandora! Okay, everyone's rushing in. Everyone's rushing in! <laughs> this is so cool! <laughs> There's so many of us! Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! This is amazing! She's like, I think I'm in a sensory overload. <laughs> like, it's pretty, it's quite stressful. I am so sorry. This is so amazing, everyone. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's so beautiful. Oh, this is definitely a dream come true for me. Look at the world of Pandora with the floating islands and the bioluminescent plants and everything. Oh, this is so beautiful. Wow. Look at this. And look how everyone's just gathering. Oh, so cool. Oh my gosh. There's a random dance circle happening on top of this floating island. <laughs> what is happening? I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know that I really enjoyed making it. And thank you to everyone who appeared today. Oh my goodness, this is so lovely. I have no words. I know I keep like repeating myself, but I literally have no words. This is insane. Everyone's wearing the right getup. And someone's like, honey, I lost my daughter. <laughs> they even formed in pairs. That's so cool. So that's all for today. And I hope you enjoyed exploring Pandora with us. <laughs>